You got Tyson pushing James, getting him fired up, and of course Dylan and JW, very good friends off court. All right, let's play pickleball. James pulls the trigger first. Yeah, shocking, but I mean, that's exactly what I said. Yeah. Try to bait One them into two. going for something, and then J.W. Johnson just slaps it up the middle. Hey, get that out of here, James. from McGuffin and you have three guys who play a lot together other than McGuffin down in South Florida here. J.W. Johnson's hand speed is electric, Dave. I just wanted to <laughs> state the absolute obvious real Three fast. Two. Three in a row to start this one. Four in a row. Yeah, and you're exactly right. They're, they're about as polar opposites on geography as you can be. Three <laughs> South Florida boys and then Coeur d'Alene, yeah. Idaho, so. Four, zero, two. Wow. JW is it's just so similar to Ben. Ben likes the up the line back end. JW likes the, the, the cross court. This is and boy, they're even chatting. This is something. Okay. Yeah, that was I was gonna say maybe maybe they could try test out Dylan a couple times. JW Johnson had the answers and they try it and Six it does not work two. either. Six in a row. Seven in a row. Tennis Channel Live at the U.S. Open is coming up at the top of the hour, 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific, to get all the insights and analysis of the women's singles final from the U.S. Open. Hey, they're serving. All they needed Shields was for me one. to talk about yeah, something they're, else. Yeah, they're serving. So That's good. Here we go. Step the, one. The first serve for Ignatowicz and McGuffin. Rare mistake from McGuffin. Zero seven two. Side out. And they got the ball for 14 seconds. Yeah, it's um, yeah. If the uh, what what is it? The time of possession yes, uh, is, yes, is, is, is not in their favor. No. <laughs> Point. 
snowman nothing. Yeah, it's really tough. You gotta, yeah, you got you gotta balance out some of those uh, blocks with counters as well. It's just so hard to get off of the string when these two get going offensively. Whoopsie. <laughs> his, his face. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, Dylan, what was that? And Dylan does not know no, either. No. <laughs> hey, Jill, two. It's a nice shot from McGuffin to get the ball back. Yeah, it's a great spot. And actually, the one he overcooked earlier fooled JW a yes. little bit. So, so maybe Tyson can find a spot there Joy to pick one. on a little bit more. And that was at one nothing. So I mean that's you know that's the difference. You can get a, a whole run stopped by just making one shot. Take it, sir. I mean that's 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 what he wants. That's that's Zero the James Ignatowicz special, and can't get it. And that was the James Ignatowicz special 2.0 and didn't make it. Yeah, exactly right. Great move by Tyson. You know, always tough to finish on the first ball. James had what he wanted. So two opportunities for Ignatowicz find the net. Goodness, what a lob to get them off the kitchen. Yeah, and, and J.W. Johnson kind of hopped in the middle of that and was still able to retrieve, but either way, great topspin lob from Tyson. Again with the lob. Yeah, not a huge part of Tyson's game by no. any means, but you know, when you're down 8 0 and struggling to find spots to attack of your opponents, why not throw it over him two for two? Let's see if this can ignite, because the crowd would love to be the catalyst Zero to get them one. back in this match. It and get it the heck out of here. Just so casual, uh, just Zero so much two. strength in the wrist and the forearm yeah. area to not use a lot of his body and still create incredible pace. Point. And they will not get pickled here. Speaking of incredible pace, two-handed okay. backhand from James Ignatowicz did not find the net that time. Yeah. And the off-speed miss hit finds the court. Yeah, and, and if you watch JW play on, when he happens to switch, he looks like a fish out of the water on the right, so they won't be switching. Team on the far end could make a switch at some point for sure. That's tough to do with two hands with 
Man, alive. Oh, to get Mataway. that down. Yes. Oh, yes. It, it's almost always through the court. So to, to put that on the shoe tops of a player who's not that far off the kitchen line, really good from James. Break slightly, just slightly awkward swing, getting pushed off the line, yet unable to take it out of the Nine air. One, two. That's a pretty good combination and look there. Didn't have it fully in a strike zone on the last forehand, but you got to feel good about that pattern Nine, one, if you two. get it again from Tyson McGuffin. J.W. Johnson and Dylan Frazier and this. See if they possibly make a switch. And maybe, maybe Dylan and J.W. might give them a few freebies early on. Doubtful, but possible. Side out. And the freebie goes the other direction. Yeah, it was the... Reverse order there. Zero, zero, one. Point. Freebie number two. Not yeah. the way to start when you got run over 11 to 1. One, zero, one. talked about it on the break. I think Tyson McGuffin, phenomenal left side player, but he's very consistent and picks his spots. Zero, zero, he doesn't one. have the raw tools of Ignatowicz with the length and the power. Maybe you put James on the left and let him go crazy. there because when you are that far ahead a lot of teams spaz out and go for too much they didn't do it yeah and it's, and it's easy to dip after an easy game one uh, so so to just how often do we see 11 one oh three yeah, so yeah. this is this is not oh three this is three oh yeah. the freight train keeps rolling second serve there we go. There's a nice counterattack from James. Just, it, it, it could two. be something so small yeah. to get the energy going. They just have to find it. Shut up. Ooh, and a little, a little spring in the yes. step back to the line. I love to see that at 14-1 to still have that energy and that belief. We know they're super Jim talented. So let's, let, let's make a run, guys. Let's get this one tight. Second serve. Zero, three, two. Okay, aim for the top of the tape. Yeah, there you go. So high, high on Dylan, high on on JW. One, three, two. 
<laughs> Bang. <laughs> Great shot. Yes. <laughs> so good. I mean, some awesome defense from McGuffin there, but that's what I said now. The blocking from Tyson McGuffin is absolutely world class, but you got you got to punch a couple as well. These guys are so talented offensively, J.W. Johnson and Dylan Frazier. You have to mix Three, one, in one. the blocks with the counterattacks. Otherwise, they're just going to keep putting pressure on. Second serve. And there's the massive two-in-it backhand cross court. And Tyson chirping in Three, his one, ear, two. letting him know he likes that. I want more. Okay, okay, here we go, and we have more chatting. Yes. Nice little paddle tap and some good three, energy one. on the near end of the court. Tennis Channel Live at the U.S. Open is coming up at the top of the hour. You're not going to want to miss that expert analysis of what went down in New York. Oh, I was like, where'd James go? Towelling off. One, three, two. Yeah, no, and you can you can see just instantly just a little droop from Tyson McGuffin as he knows that is just not something that's very characteristic for him. 3-1-1. One, one. Second serve. There we go. A little Ferrari forehand. You know, that always always helps the situation. Get the Three, Rari one, going. See? <laughs> Surprise! James just looked to bunt that yeah, back just short. Smack it. I thought he was going to unleash with his uh, opponents a couple feet off the kitchen line. issues and it is five to one and Adam what enables Frazier and Johnson to get to the kitchen all the time it's not flashy yeah oh yes uh, just five, go one, talk two. to Hannah and go have dinner Flip. recall five one two Just hit three forehands about three inches from the baseline. That's a good way to keep him back. One, five, one. Second serve. Referee timeout. Voice of head referee Don Stanley patrolling this one. one Warning, five, if someone gets a kitchen violation, it will be very loud. Just winning dink game, man. That's well, trouble. Man, and it's been four or five. Yeah, and it's five, been one, one. a relatively vanilla dink that's been missed. Yeah. Great angle from the in there, and nice job by him of not letting a missed dink carry into the next point. That's right. It's nice. 
it kind of helps with that angle when you can kind of walk into yeah. it. As that ball was to the middle of the court, it lined up perfectly for the inside angle, and Tyson finishes the point. Five, one, two. Point. That got stuck. Uh, not exactly sure what happened there. Maybe he thought he could take it out of the air last second, Six, one, realized two. he couldn't, but either way, ball back over. And here is the switch we talked about. <laughs> yeah, let, let the 6'3 guy with, the, with the heavy hands just go crazy. It might be too little too late, but oh, no, they're not switching all one, the way just yet. So. Wow, just for one, that would have been enough for me right there. When it's 18 to two one way, maybe try it. It's not like he's new to that side of the world. One, seven, two. Semi-final, and Dylan Frazier and J.W. Johnson Seven, just one, one. dominant. Okay. Oh, that stays Seven, in sir. for James Ignatowicz. Yeah, protecting the moneymaker there. That Did ball's going ever. right at the face. <laughs> Seven, one, two. James Ignatowicz. Back to back, one high, one at the belly button. He handled both nicely. A little higher than the belly button. On one, seven, one. Okay. electric hand speed, especially on the cross-court attack. I mean, Tyson's hitting that with plenty of pace, and J.W. Johnson just not phased. <laughs> not interested. Yeah, and McGuffin just not clean on the found fundamentals here, which is not usual. Yeah, uh, a couple dinks and a couple third shot drives uh, into the net, so. Don't recommend that. Yeah, and uh, we heard it in the Ben Johns interview. When you're playing a racket paddle sport, you're literally playing your absolute best 10 or 15 percent of the time. So you have to find a way to dig deep, create a new strategy, figure out a couple of different shots to, to change it up. And Ignatowicz on the left is two for two. Yes, and man, that ball comes off his paddle. It, it's just a lot of life. Yes. A lot of life. We found that out firsthand when we played some with him last night. Really tough there for the right side player to put that inside out backhand to the middle. If he brings that back to James, he might be in trouble, but he found the gap in the middle very nicely. I mean, this is stunning. Uh, caught it, I just think yeah, they so that, gave it to so him. That's three for four? Three on for the, four on the left, four left side, Ignatowicz. All right. And Referee timeout. We have be, a challenge of the wait. end ruling when a team doesn't make a call. The end ruling puts oh, us inside out. And so one -on -one. this is one we'll of those where Dill are going as a player, so it's nice to have a coach there. Let's After see what Don Stanley has for us. The challenge is lost and timeout is lost. 
One timeout, one timeout. We resume play at side out, one nine one. Yeah, so, some players just play. That's what yes. we were talking about. Yes. And when you're that talented as those two kids, one, nine, that's one. an option. But if you have a game plan and you're that talented, that's extra special stuff. Sure is. And their play over this summer has shown it. Apparently, James is only allowed to play three points on the left. <laughs> Oh, uh, so that was actually Dylan that hit that ball. I wasn't sure. Yeah. I, saw, I saw the big paw of J.W. Johnson try to get in there. 2 nine, one <laughs> So good at that kind of angle, but so much pace overhead. Yes, yes. Uh, it's a combination of the two for sure. Yeah, play a couple to the middle and then slap Just one on the angle. It's so tough to cover it all. Yeah. And you, you hit it to his forehand. He hits a backhand and gets out of it. It's yeah. so frustrating that you can beat the man and three shots later you're losing the point. Two points away from Championship Sunday. Lob again, been effective. After all that, he misses his bread and butter. Well, we talk about how good they are getting to the kitchen after they serve, and the same things apply after a lob yeah. as well. I mean, that was a great yeah. lob. No panic in the track down. Second serve. Not two, two. Not out. Great counter from Ignatowicz. Yeah, really good at that two-hander. I don't he know dips how. dips it down in front of his body and up in front of his body. It's really tough. I don't know how you do that. That might be the first dink they've missed. Yeah, it's uh, very possible. I think Dylan might have wanted to fire something. He hasn't done a lot of no. that so far in this match. And he hasn't. hasn't yeah. added, why, why? Why? Why bother when you're just boat racing somebody? Okay, a couple errors from Dylan Frazier. I mean, we've seen larger deficits than this get erased. And here's that, do we dare call timeout and give them the confidence and Tyson will be running around talking to everybody or don't we? And they choose not to, I agree. One more, they almost have to. Yeah, I think, uh, I like the one more as well. Oh no. Second serve. Yeah, that's tough. He kind of, it, it's almost like he was so tight to the middle that it, it forced him into a chance yeah. to get it and that's tough. Ignatowicz flying in and pegs J.W. Johnson. He's taking a couple to that right shoulder in this match. He has a commanding lead, but that man right there is trying to keep this run going. Tyson McGuffin to serve. It's on a two. Off the tape. And it is deep. I thought it just grazed a paddle, but it did not. Point. Oh, I, I see. Oh, I thought it did for sure, and it did. Okay. 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 I'm like, I seven, thought nine, for two. sure that hit a paddle. Okay, seven nine two. Look out. Look at him change where he attacks. Oh yes, he did. And you saw James take a hard step to his right to cover the angle. Nice uh, combination, one out wide, one up the middle for the put away for JW. 
Oh no, after all that work. We are at match point for Frazier and Johnson. 10-7-1. Uh, really close over there. I didn't, I didn't see any fingers or no, words. No call. Okay. So. 10-7-2. One match point saved. Here comes the second. covering his chest in front of his body. And there again is the paddle hand smacking the paddle. We got to stop that. Yeah. That was after the missed return that got him to 10. We need to have boxing school too. We'll add that to when we do clinics. When you're mad, use your wrong hand. Tape wide here, so they are not able to push closer. Another chance to end this. Okay, man. 